Grüezi and welcome back to Endless Space 2, where today we are going to continue with our plans of extermination of our neighbors. Specifically, I will, will want to take over Ugaro and potentially also Kalum, although it's a re relatively low pop system, but it does have three planets, which is quite nice. And then we're gonna pay our friends, the Vodiani here, a little visit. And after that, we're gonna worry about all the traitors we have faced so far, being the Lumeris, being the Umbral Choir. Yeah, we will have fun there. So, uh, you want truce. Wait, what? I don't remember us being at war. Orange? I mean, like, what? Okay, well, then I guess I don't have anything against that. What is our war momentum? We could try taking a system from them, but I don't think it's gonna work. And maybe they're gonna pay me money either way, so... Uh, I don't really have the influence for that, so... We'll see, maybe we'll get something out of it. Otherwise, oh well. Then we'll not care. So, we do have a fleet here that is capable of defending against anything that... The Vodiani or the Lumeris or even the Umbral Choir throw against us. Uh, but we are a bit weak on this side up here. And we do have this Vodiani fleet here that annoys me a little bit. They have to go away here. Uh, that means I will have to construct more ships, which I'm already doing here. So that is just fine. Also, let's have a look at the laws. Uh, I don't think, yeah, we cannot afford that. Still not. But I think we have a, um, what is it called? Some kind of agreement with the, the these guys. Admires your nerve. The science what agreement. Do we even get something out of that? Uh, let me see here. We should see how much we get from that. 89. That is not a whole lot. That is less than we pay for it in influence. We'll keep it for a couple of turns, but if it doesn't turn around there, maybe we should just cancel it, because maybe we'll be more scientifically advanced than the, uh, the United Empire. Although, given from the points, I highly doubt that. So, we do have an election, and we are still a... Do I see that? Yeah, a republic, so... We would be using money. I don't want the industrialists, so I'm just gonna be backing the ecologists again. And finally we got them, as well as the militarists, which was to be expected. Given our uh, recent war plans. So, uh, this law honestly would also help quite a bit. Because we are building ships right now, and we can actually support it, so let's do that. We also researched this year, very important, I wanted to have that on every planet that is not otherwise fertile or or hot or cold so not here not here neither here um wait where is it i had a couple of them there we go step planets i didn't even colonize that yet oh well gonna be fine um but i'm not sure that was everything Come on. Oh, that's not my system. Oh well. Um, so that's the one I already did now. Let's continue here. That's another temperate. And one more here. This one too. I might even buy those out, but it's very expensive as well. I think we started here. Fertile worlds can for now also do that, honestly. I think I'll have to go over them again into the Fertile Worlds. Uh, this one's hot though, so you don't count. This one maybe. You don't really have many pops anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much. There's a hot one. Yeah, I think we've got them now. Perfect. So we built one of the... What are they called? Imposer? No. Yes, Imposer. Interesting. Uh, pops. Um, wow. 
We only got Librarian. I actually don't remember which one that is. Oh, that's a pointless one. You can invest some dust to, like, find out more about everything. I want to see who has the most signs. Okay, this them. That would mean that the science agreement should eventually pay off then. It's 102 now. We'll see. It is improving from now. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't afford that. I would love to, but I seriously just can't. Also, we're way too far to trade. Ooh, nice system. Unfortunately, it's way too far for me to even get there. They, they have trading companies. Nice. You don't see that all too often in the United Empire. But I guess they had so much like expansion capabilities that they just went for it. <clears throat> so we do have friends from the Lumeris and from the Vodiani here. I'm going to attack the Lumeris first because we are at war with those guys. Um, but if the other ship is still there next turn, I am going to shoo it away by force. It fought? That's weird. So I wanted to take out the pirates, and it seems I cannot, because of the Hisho. They have a military behemoth here that is very weak. And I probably cannot even go we to war with you, right? Act as you think we, will. we are in truce. How long still? Three turns. Okay, I think we can just like help them on the siege here for three turns. And then... Go to war again, kill that behemoth. They're bringing more ships over here. I don't like that. Remember, they don't have to be at war to be able to invade our systems. So I have to be really, really careful here. Um, also, I would really like to get these medium ships here. So, um, what do we have next? Okay, some buildings, some pops. Nair has been compromised. That probably was the pirates. Wow, that was a far jump. Hello, guys. You are very welcome here. Uh, that was definitely the United Empire. We finished exploring. Okay, I've been attacked. Okay, I think this one will just probably die now. Although it can go away. So you just keep on exploring. Don't care about that. Retreat. And a hero level. And I guess you are an ecologist, but I think you're not in the Senate, right? Hmm. Can I think I would see that somewhere. No, he's not senator. It would be shown somewhere here. Uh, then this doesn't really make any sense. I should go for that one then. When does my actual senator get a level up? You guy here. Because I want to take that with you. Although I think you might not even have that skill, right? No, you do not. Uh, do I have another senator right now? I actually do. The militarist could take that skill. He is, is I think, on the fleet. This one is... No, he's in Nozulo. So we need to build things here. Okay. Uh, I could potentially already shoo those away with uh, my Imposer. He's certainly strong enough. Uh, but they do use missiles and that is actually a little bit of a problem. But let's do this anyway. I don't want to wa wait too long. Because otherwise it's going to be a problem. So, we have still two turns until we can go to war there. Also, this one will have to wait until we got rid of the Hisho ship. Who's that? Oh, hello Hisho. Why are you coming from there? I would also do very well with some... Uh, this ones. The wormholes. Because, I mean, this one was obviously one. Because we just saw the United Empire using it. And there might even be more. 
a very weird place for a wormhole, honestly. Like, I, I would get it, like, from here, maybe, but oh well. So, um, that is desert colonization, nice. We also got the next science tier, also good. Ash colonization, very nice. Adioth needs something to do. Uh, we could start terraforming. Question is, should I? I'm not quite sure whether we need to. I mean, we are happy, and this is producing more industry than, like, higher tier ones. So maybe I should not. We'll see. I mean, we've been terraforming, I think, also the last two uh, playthroughs. So I think we're just going to go a bit more on troops for now, uh, on our fleet, I mean. You already have a shipyard, so let's just get three more of these. Then we have populations gained, actually quite a lot of them. We also did a hack to Vyakiros, and was it the home system? It was not, because otherwise we'd get... Actually, yes, it was. Thanks for the technology. And we don't need this thing anymore. I mean, it's probably not worth hacking them more. Maybe we'll do the Vodiani one more time. So, we have science done. That was the one we... we got for free. Okay, so this one dies. There's no question about that. There's also this one here. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. This is the Academy fleet. Alright. If we do this very carefully, we can minimize the, the downside of this. So, they would like to be at mid-range. That's actually pretty bad. We, would, we should go for short range, I think. Because then at least also our defense ships can do some damage. Though I, I doubt we will even get to there. You know what? In situations like these, it does make sense to pull an old Craver tactic. Do they have Strykraft? Other question. I think they do not. No, it would be shown somewhere here. So no Strykraft. Uh, I want to watch this, how we lose. This will at least have a chance for us to, to guarantee survival. The ships here are simply for um, getting the bonus initially. They will get destroyed fairly quickly. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Let's die like heroes. I mean, there might be ships that survive this battle. If I did not do that, probably we would lose everything. Uh, they do have quite a strong fleet here. And if I remember correctly, the attack ships go for defenders first and then like carrier class next. So they will probably focus on this first, allowing this one here to deal full damage for a very long time. Oh, this is going to go wrong. We might even lose all that flotilla as well. So yeah, it looks like those ships cannot even fire at us right now. Which is actually pretty good. And uh, yeah, those guys will die very quickly. These ones will never be able to fire at us. So, there's a whole lot of lasers going on and a few missiles. Okay, the middle row ship here is almost destroyed. It's gonna be just a few more seconds until that's the case. Uh, our hero is taking most of the damage, it looks like, here. Along with some... They actually are spreading it quite much, which is pretty bad for them. Uh, but it seems like we do the same. Yeah, we're also spreading the damage. So the hero is gone, that we will lose... Yeah, that's two more destroyers gone. Uh, I guess the protector is about next. No, this destroyer maybe. Or maybe same time even. No, the destroyer is gone. Defender is probably gone as well. We might not even win this lane. Because of the lack of focus. Which is actually weird. Because the attack ships should 
always focus on one ships and one ship together. What range are we currently? Medium still. That's good for them, not that great for us. They do not do so much damage anymore, surprisingly. Saying that though, we do take a lot of damage still. Uh, it's only 5,000 left, 2,000 here. We might even make this. Another destroyer down and the next two are probably gonna be gone soon as well. We are close. They are still shooting us. Why? Oh, come on. 380. Yes, we got one. And this one should also go. Yes. Alright, perfect. Now we shoot them. Can they? They actually do shoot back, which is weird to me. But, okay, we do keep four ships. Out of 16, 15. Four and the hero ship, but we will have to fly away here. Let's end this. Okay, that was very painful. They bring also another fleet here. So, um, where should we go? I guess it's just up here. So, it, it turns out like this fleet is no longer capable of doing anything right now. Uh, we did kill one of the, the carriers. And didn't really inflict any significant damage on any of the other ones. This one slightly. We're looking at 11,000 versus 3,000. Uh, how are we going to be with a fleet full of these? How many can we have? We can have five. Five times this is practically five times 2,000. It's about 10,000, not quite. So even with a full fleet of our best ships, we're looking like toast against them. The only way we could really capitalize on any kind of advantages is if we went long range. So maybe we're going to respect that for a second. We do have this module though, but we also have the equivalent in these. And honestly, this might just work. We will get a lot more DPS. Actually, not all that much more. I mean, significantly much more. And have this one instead. So, 3,000 per ship times 5 is 1,500. Uh, I don't know. Um, 15,000 is what I wanted to say. So, they're using mostly lasers. So, that is actually a good defense right there. I could bring a behemoth. To the fight though I'm not quite sure whether it's a, it's a good solution to the problem something like this I could not combine this one with a fleet so I don't think that's a good idea let's just uh, skip that so we would want to have the imposers with missiles and potentially you know that's a vader the tool with... You have a lot of laser defenses. You would not need those, right? You could also have some missiles or something. Or I'm just getting the, the medium ship's defenders here. Uh, something that I do want to get is some good defenses here. Immediately. So that is fine. The hero did get a skill level. That's nice. Uh, so that's gonna be useless. Damage on fleet is not too bad. I think since they're running away, I, I want to give them a bit more speed. Uh, where are they? Here. How long? Five turns. That's not even that bad. But the problem is getting back down here in time. They kill 22 manpower per turn. How much do you have on you? 1.4. That's a lot. I don't know how many they can drop at once. Probably not all too many because I think they're not like good at invading. But yeah, I, I totally did not expect that. <laughs> I mean, I opened the video basically with saying that our fleet can push them back. And then look at what happened. So we should now be at, uh, yes, Cold War again with the Hisho question is, do I really want to wage that war then? 
1,000, 2,000. I mean, actually, we're not even that great against them. They have 24,000 health. We do have more health. And you're aggressive. Okay, I think you're aggressive twice. Interesting. Uh, you are bringing another fleet here, right? Possible. Uh, actually, wait. The behemoth disappeared. What the hell? So I guess we can just drop here. There's no no point in not doing that. And that also means we should get this one out and going. So next turn we will have this system. We'll just need to be careful not to lose against those guys. And you just defend here. Another ship has been created here. And we're building more in Alioth. Yeah, we need to be very careful about how we do things. Now they're even doing 32. Why are they ganging up on me so much? <clears throat> this this game, that's uh, something I haven't really experienced before. But it's nothing we can't handle, I think. So you also immediately get over there. You do the same, you get there, and we immediately also give you an upgrade. You get rid of the Vodiani. Actually, now it's going to be a bad battle because we're both long range. So we're probably going to take a lot of damage here. But it should be fine. Oh, they even went away. All right, that's that's even better. So you just defend here. You want me to stop attacking? I don't care. We did get the Aether. Nice. Okay, don't care. Uh, pops and invasion of the pirate base. Let me just go there so we can settle as soon as possible. Uh, do I need to blitz? I don't think so. In this case, I can probably even do preemptive bombing. So you get there, you settle as soon as possible on probably this world. Yeah, it had some food. Actually, we should probably invest a little bit in here. They are blocking this system. That's actually not a big deal for us. I can just go in there and kill them. They will not run away, so that's also a plus. They want to be long range, so we are going to go short range. Did I lose ships? It looks like I did. Um, hmm. Oh, you're not actually a... Oh, no, wait, never mind. I'm confusing things right now. So, uh, I guess we'll just give you damage. Yeah, but we definitely lost some ships here. Three tools, uh, three waiters. Two waiters and one tool. Not good, not good. That was the pirate base. Another one for our great Vodiani leader. And I think you just get more food. So, with the Vodiani out of the way, we need to go back here. Let's go home to Arioth. Also, what's going on here? You want... out? Yeah, I didn't even have to go to war with you guys. That's nice. Denounce. Alright, there's another ship coming in there. That's fine. Increasing my fleet cap would also help a little bit. But I'm trying to achieve so many things simultaneously, it's going to be hard. I mean, these things, that's economy. That probably has to wait a little bit. What's what's this one? That's military tech. Why did I want that? For the cloaking stuff. I mean, flotilla shield, honestly, also pretty good with the Horatio. I probably will use those. So, um... Archidukes. Should I do that? Should I? Should I? Should I? We probably have to. Also, this is... No, wait. This is a good module. And we definitely also want that one. So, let's pull this one back. We can keep the survival suits here. I think that is also going to be useful here, the basic flotilla shield. So, okay. Let's see here. 
First of all, is there an arc? I think there's an arc. Floating in the system. Yeah. Alright, so... You screw you. Oh, there's an imposed truce coming or something. That's just a scout. That's not a big deal. You're a goner, and you want... You accepted the truce. Are we allied with those guys, even? Oh, yeah, we are allied, totally. That's why we are at war with them. I mean, I have no problem with that, because, I mean, I just got some money from that for free. Uh, that's just science. That's all right. We have operation gains. We have... Nair, who needs to build something. So you colonized all the things, so you definitely need industrial zones everywhere. And then you need a whole lot of food. Like this one, for example. But probably also AI labor. This is going to be very big on this system. And then we can probably throw in some science. We also now research the... Yeah, actually, the AI labor, as well as lava colonization. And, okay, we do have now this one here, and I'm gonna take Hydromiel and Ionic Crystals. It is very rare that I unlock this when I already have a lot of resources for this next stage. I can't actually remember ever having had that. So, obviously, it's gonna go for the highest um, population systems, like Eridanos, Ozulo, and then we're probably out already. Yeah. So, uh, you also need an upgrade, and you get over there. Wait, uh, you probably have to get out of the hangar first for that, right? We also do have a new hero. And honestly, a Horatio or a scientist is not all that bad. We could get another uh, system hero. Let's look here. Yeah, we do qu need quite a few of them. The important ones do have a hero, but we are going to get uh, more and more important ones. Like Artemis is also a great one. Uh, and for that we would want probably... That's a Guardian though, huh? That's 19 good ones. That's... Uh, I can calculate. 23? No, 22. So probably it has to be the Scavenger here, right? That is not going to be all that great eventually, but oh well. I still think it's probably our best bet. I would have loved a Horatio hero, but it didn't seem to be the best option there. So, of course, we're going to go for this one here and then potentially trust some influence. The system is happy now, that's great. Perfect. We do have something here. Uh, okay, what we is going on there? Diplomatic demand? I don't think so. You should go trouble. away. Like, seriously. And of course you did not. not so this one is still guarding the system. Yeah, so once we have the survival suits, I will adapt my fleet to a new system and I will explain how and why this is working so um reduce cheat cost I guess we're just gonna give that a try you want oh I guess we can give you money I don't want to do that that's gonna be terrible you were doing so well in pressure wise why? Where from? Oh, probably down here, right? Yeah. This is a big system. And we can't really focus on like things like that. I mean, we, we can do that, but it's not going to be all that great. This is going to be more useful. So yeah, we are going to need that system. More than ever. So, we do have quite a few fleets here. That is three attackers, so I have to wait for another ship to, to show up, otherwise it's too dangerous. Or this one, actually, this fleet. I guess I will combine this one with the other one over here, that will have to stop by there. I don't remember having had two heroes, but alright, that's great. 
So they can at least do one more useful thing down here. Go for the fight. Let's combine those and attack. Alright, so you would like to be long range, right? Yes. No, wait, we are good long range. Oh, you changed to short range. Interesting. We kind of switched roles there. Yeah, this should be fairly easy. If they even fight, yeah, they run away. All right, so the small ships will be separated and put over here, combined with that fleet. Oh, I'm gonna lose ships again, am I? Uh, you know what? I think we should pull those ships over here because they can't use both flotillas. So I will have one, maybe a Vader over there, the hero back to the center, and right. We are here better at close range, so let's do that. Okay, I think that went... We still lost the ship, right? Yeah, too crazy. The Hisha are trying to fight back. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, right. After you make demands. So, uh, Pops, that's nothing special. Artemis is finished building. Uh, everything's hot, so definitely AI labor. Uh, this also makes sense. We should probably do that even first. And then certainly food. Food is not fast enough in here. And we definitely also need that. Let's put that first, actually. So, we researched this set here. Okay. Time for our master plan after the hero upgrades. So you get, I guess, wait, are you the senator? Yes, you're the senator, so you definitely get this skill. Cheaper diplomatic stuff, very important. And you now could get something like luxuries. Do we even have luxuries on the home system? I mean, we have these. It's all right. I mean, we can maybe transfer it to one of Nekar or Eridanus for more useful um, luxuries in the end. How close are we anyway to getting another one? We need 40 each, so we have 11 and 63. Maybe we can buy some Hydromiel. Uh, there's not that much on the market, and it's probably going to be hell of expensive. Yes, 10k. That is really expensive. Let's sell 10 of uh, 20 of these. They are super cheap. They are super cheap. Actually, the potatoes are worth something. Though not enough. I am a bit reluctant to sell too much here. Though it does get us there. So, okay, we can put one more system on another level. So these, this one is already level 3. I guess Alioth is the next one then. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so uh, this one is already yes, there as well. Wait, what? Ah, oh. again, you need to leave the hangar first. Okay, for our master plan, let's first of all have a look at our tool. Now let's strip it naked. And we're gonna count the support slots. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That makes one engine. And then we have five slots that we can use for anything else. And looking at these here, we have a flotilla shield capacity of 550 with 30 flotilla energy defense. And to be honest, the latter matters a little bit more to me. The energy defense. If we look at a shield module here, let's actually take in this one. We have an energy defense of 390 from one module. For a larger ship, this number is doubled. So, if we were to do this one here, we'd have 5 times the 30, so uh, 150 flotilla energy defense. If we have two ships, uh, of uh, the tools in every flotilla that gives us almost the same as this one and it completely negates the need for shields on any of the other um, ships so we can put more weapons on there which is especially good for the 
um, Horatio since we have slots that can be used for almost anything. Since we have a lot of shields here, we can probably put in a plating module there and do it this way. We are not going to have any weapons on this, which is not that big of a deal because it's a support ship. It is after all called a tool. It is a tool to be used. So with that out of the way, uh, we should also retrofit our other designs. So you don't need a shield anymore. Also looking at that, this one has 240 energy defense, so two ships in a flotilla are actually better than one of the shield modules. And uh, the shield capacity is actually also pretty good. 550 per module times five is, I think, uh, 2750 or something like that. Like, pretty decent. So, what I don't know is whether... No, actually, we don't have it here. A shield reloading module would work. But we're going to give you plating. And the rest is already in place here anyway. We're also going to do that for the weapon, although I'm not sure I'm even going to use that one anymore. Let us see... Does this make sense? What does more damage? It's basically the same. This does a bit more damage and it has critical hit chance. So potentially even more damage. These are forced to be defense slots, so let's just put two plating in there. Yeah, I think that's fine. It is 500 after all, so three times this one should be... Well, it's, it is still weaker than that. It's actually half as strong. HP-wise, probably still weaker, yeah. Oh well. We're probably not going to use it. Did I? I did it here already. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, so we still need to do some retrofitting. And we definitely also need more command points because having uh, one or two of these tools in every flotilla means we'll have six command points just for the energy defense. And that would leave us only with nine ships, so three, nine, nine command points, so three bigger ships. Let's start building those. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're out of Hyperium. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I just sold a little bit before and now I'm regretting it. I mean, until these are done, I should have more again. For some reason, these also use Hyperium. Why? Why are they using Hyperium? Confused? Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong ship then. I don't know at what ship I just looked at. Oh, this one at the Imposter 2. Well, okay, that's alright. I can actually probably take that out, lose some progress there. I just look, lose the construction progress. I don't know whether I get the resources back. Maybe let's, let's just keep it. I, I was thinking maybe let's not uh, waste more Hyperium, but oh well. It already started construction anyway, so... How is the invasion going, by the way? They are halfway there. And they're getting more and more ships in, which I don't like. You sicken me. What, what the hell? What did I do? Or probably for you, what didn't I do, right? So, uh, I guess we here need... This would not be too bad. We have two sterile worlds. Other than that... Okay, let's just probably build more ships then. Because honestly, I don't know. We could use more science though. And this is a very good science system. Let's do that. Yeah, let's keep that for now. Neckar needs to do something as well. And you are very unhappy. Very, very unhappy. Let's let's solve that problem. You have a lot of luxuries, so this should boost you to the beyond. Let's get you some science on the cold ones. Let's get you some production as well. Let's actually do that first. Maybe so. Because this one has at least has a lot of pops. We're actually getting close to be able to 
splice another uh, population type there, which is nice. It is gonna be the Calgra, so it's just gonna make our people more happy, which I think is even impossible to do. But, oh well. Um, why did you stop here? You need to go there. So, okay, the, the small fleet has arrived. We have two waiters here, which I think I have not upgraded, so that's fine. I do have still those guys. And I will combine these with the small fleet coming from here. So that's uh, three weapons and one tool. So this is going to be a decently small-sized anti-pirate and probably anti hisho fleet. This should work. And you just defend for a while because you will need to recoup for a while. Okay, so we also need to combine all those up. And I think this is just going to be our first fleet, attack fleet. We just need the, the tools, then it's going to be perfect. So everything's upgraded. Uh, you please go home. I don't want you in my empire. Goodbye. We do have a lot of pop growth. And we have the Vodiani. Nice. And we actually can steal something. Ooh, Hardened Aloes is something that I actually really want. How much did we already invest in that uh, up here? Almost nothing. Let's do that. Thank you, Vodiani. That was mighty nice of you. Not that you really had a chance in deciding anything about it. But still. So, um, yeah, they just ran away. To be expected. You went to war. It gives me that is actually surprising. I did not expect you to go to war with me. But then again, I have nothing to fear from you, I would say. That was command points, so that's actually great. Allows us to have one more big ship on our fleet. Should I send those over to defend Nekar? I guess I don't see a reason why not to. They don't have any laser defense right now, right? Almost none. Actually, you should also get an upgrade. You definitely need... Ooh, this would also be a nice... Rail guns. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, we should probably put some better probes on here. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, I could even make it invisible, but then again, I don't think it's all that useful for us. Anti-cloaking level, however, would be useful, and maybe I should do that instead. It's only level 1 for now, but at least it's something. Do I get a anti-cloaking probe now? Because this one isn't. This is a normal probe, it looked like. So, okay, that is done. Um, how much laser defense do I have? I seem to have quite a bit. Let's do that. Why can't you move? Because of the upgrade, probably, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. That should uh, not be an issue here. We should be able to easily kill that behemoth. Because it will probably also not run away, right? Eridanos needs to build, and we'll definitely go for as much as we can here. Uh, it doesn't even matter whether we don't really have a lot of anomalies here. It's still going to be very useful. Uh, this probably less. Well, we have three hot ones. The money is going to be useful. This is going to be useful. Everything's going to be useful here. Honestly. We don't need more happiness though, right? And <laughs> no, we don't need more food. Look at that. That's two pops per turn. Uh, it's actually almost full, so we should probably start sending out pops elsewhere. Question is where to, because I think Osula is also full. Not Osula, I meant Aliath. Both of them are full. Nair? Yes, Nair can use some more. And they're actually also done that uh, we do have one strategic resource that we cannot extract yet and that's something that we should totally do should do because that's a very good resource some science there 
Uh, that's not all that great here. Yeah, none of these are all that great. Uh, this one's gonna come in handy. Okay, I think that's good for now. Anything else doesn't look like... Aliath is done with the last Imposer. That has been upgraded twice now. So you go back here. Um, how far are we here? It looks very grim. Because I can still not take that fleet. Still not. And I have other problems to deal up here. Maybe I will have to get, give it away and take it back later. Something that I had considered already a while ago. Less retrofit cost, that's fine. So... That is larger ships, right? That's actually a pretty scary ship. And we don't actually currently have any defenses against missiles. So it's just gonna be a hailstorm of missiles on both sides. With a lot of casualties. Doesn't sound like all the best idea, honestly. Uh, we do have some curiosities here, so we're definitely gonna go for that. Also some spin product here and some cold stuff there. We have one sterile, so that's probably not gonna be that worth it. Uh, Xenotourism makes sense. And I guess then all the science stuff. <clears throat> you are happy, so we can put this in as well. We have one... Uh, anomaly. Yeah, I think that's fine. So, nothing else here. We do have a system colonized. That is great news. Something like that. Uh, I'll buy out some of these things because it's going to be very slow otherwise. Alright. Um, we do have that. A level up for my favorite hero, honestly. And this is a great trait here. Just some Fitzy on the planet. And I think this is here, right? Yeah, that's this guy. So this is just gonna be our best system. And we're under attack here, which is surprising to me. But honestly, I'll take it. We want to be long range. So you're gonna have a big... of a problem there. Yeah, you barely scratched us. We still missed so many shots at long range. At 100%. That's crazy, actually. I don't know why this is the case. I mean, it looks like it's basically half the shots are misses. And we have 100% chance to hit at long range. He doesn't have like uh, kinetics to shoot missiles down or anything. This really does not make, make sense to me. All right, this is a fleet hero, right? So I don't think I need to give him more speed. I think I can give you some damage there. Okay, so this is solved. This is just a scout, so that's not going to be a problem. You get back there, combine with that, and then we're going to have to get out of there. Elioth is building our tools. So, yeah, you guys, you just sit there and defend for now. Uh, this fleet is also getting bigger and bigger. We don't really have more defensive options, do we? I guess we can have that. More deployment limit would actually help quite significantly. Let's uh, do that first and then buy it out on there. We will have to sacrifice populations for it. Uh, why are you not exploring? You silly. Keep exploring. So yeah, they will probably drain us very low to on a manpower perspective. But if we can keep ourselves alive by um, drafting populations, this would be really nice. Okay. Let's buy that out. Where is it? Is it actually already built? This could actually be uh, where yeah, it is there. Nice. 
that also means we can't really get more than 850 down, I would say. But we do have all armor, so that should also count for something, because they have the mix of both. Can we make our manpower stronger? I think not. No, that's the wrong one. <clears throat> no, we can't. We would need to buy 25 antimatter. I think they should be on the market, right? Super expensive. 14,000. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that. <clears throat> Not at this stage. We do need to pick a new science, though. And I think I will go for better guns for now. Because this is gonna help me in this fight. I didn't plan to make this such a militaristic game with the Horatio, but they didn't leave me another choice here. So, we need one more tech up here to get the next unlock. And honestly, Enhanced Behemoth Hulls might not be a bad idea, though I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using Behemoth all that much. I might go for this one though, a Juggernaut. That could be interesting. Um, but this module actually is something that we should probably specialize in for um, offensive reasons. It will also give us the swarm missiles, which are pretty great as we are currently using missiles again. <clears throat> so, um, population, we can merge that soon. Okay, you guys, you combine all up and we're gonna also upgrade that. This is a tool, so that's no longer our problem. Uh, I guess we can use them to go and deal with the Bodiani down there because they're gonna still keep being annoying and I don't want that. So the tool will tools will go over there once they're all done. It takes quite a lot of time. Should I maybe spread it out a little? I think I will. Let's do two tools in here. Where are they? There we go. We now also have the bigger defense ship. It's also quite good. Thing. Let's actually just remove all the things here. We have two places where we can put in the bombers and stuff, but that's not that's not enough. I would need more. <clears throat> so, um, I guess we do need a ship that has at least some kind of missile defense, so I guess we're gonna take this one for it. We're not gonna need any shielding, remember? So, uh, I guess some plating is gonna be nice. And then this here. The reason why you want to use small ships for the flotilla defense is because these ones here do not stack all that well. See, we still get 550 and 30, so you're not, you're not getting anything out of this. And since those slots are basically more useful than the small ship slots, you should do that on small ships. So, um, I don't think that makes any sense here. It is quite a lot of damage more, but honestly, meh. I do want this here. They should all target this ship so that we can shoot down missiles and also repair the ship after each phase. Anything else? I guess we will put manpower on this one as well. We might even have two of those modules, although we're not making any uh, antimatter right now. That probably should be our next goal, getting antimatter. But yeah, I think an innovation module is going to be nice here, maybe even a second one. Although we do have an, uh, an invasion fleet, so maybe not. But I also don't see what else I should put on here. I can put one more of these, one more plating. I think that's fine. Let's do that. <clears throat> the invasion ships are actually over here. I will be able to upgrade them soon-ish. So yeah, antimatter. Very important. And I could potentially even go for these, because I do have access to those resources, right? I do have Orichalcix here. 
Um, that's antimatter. I only have forty calcix. I thought I had out some some quadrinics as well. Uh, I guess we can just do that then. Let's get that, and then honestly, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll leave this in here for now. Look at that. Uh, I don't think even with... With drafting I'm gonna survive this. How many pops do we make per turn? Very few. Very, very few. No luxury, so this is not gonna be helpful. Even if we go down there, I don't think we can actually take them right now. How long do we do they still have the fleet here? For eight turns. So I guess I mean yeah, we can probably just take the system back after that. So we have another hacking operation, it looks like. Uh we could, we could, we could. We're currently hacking them. Let's hack the Hisho again. Because why not, right? Uh, this system is quite well protected by now, so that's all right. Perfect. Artemis is done building. Okay, we currently have defense for one flotilla, so that's at least something. Um, oh, we should probably get rid of that. And then get some more signs after the, after the, uh, out of this system. And definitely also some influence. Actually, we're now in a place where we could do the trade here with the United Empire. They wanted to have a trade agreement. Whoa, it's so much more expensive by now. I guess, yeah, why not? We can't really put any more, more laws. I guess this would also make sense. That's quite a lot of more science. We have quite a lot of spliced populations, right? One, two, three, four. Actually, it's going to be four now. Goodbye, Calgaros. Thank you for your service. We don't even see how many spliced populations we have. But we're still building ships. So we should probably also get another last slot here. That needs more technologies up here. Oh god, that's... I need to do so many things at the same time. Um, two systems, I think that would help. Although we're not at any place towards unhappiness. Cooperation protocol could be interesting with the United Empire. That makes sense. I'm going to use that. But, I mean, since we're going to have to research here anyway, let's get our Horatio Unique, the Genetic Alteration Lab which replaces a pop of one other population type with one of the Horatios. Uh, so that's going to be useful. I don't think we're going to need this quite yet, but uh, let's get the ship types and then this one. That's the four things we need. We might go for a Wonder Victor again, but we do need some more... What is it even called? Quadranix, right? The green one. Since... Expansion doesn't seem to be a possibility. We have too many problems around here. How close are we actually together for a conquest it is? Victory 27 out of 51. That's, uh, yeah, that's quite a lot away. Science is, of course, always an option. Economy seems to be far away if we are already only second. <clears throat> yeah, I think Wonder probably makes most sense. We have a new population bonus with somebody. That probably was the Calgaros before I, um, well, killed them. There is the Benthic Gems. That's just, that's quite useless for us. I would like to have Protospores in my empire. I think I saw them somewhere. I think I saw Protospores somewhere on a system. Uh, there's Benthic Gems there. Oh well. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know whether they are at war, but... That's a lot of leeches, though. Maybe they're just gonna be sent away there. 
Okay, we also have a you want a trade agreement. Wait, what? What is your problem? So, didn't I send this to you already? I do have a trade agreement with you. Oh, you just agreed. Okay, never mind then. Uh, that probably means we should potentially also get trade companies, right? Because otherwise, for us, that's pointless. I don't know why they do that, why the AI does that. Oh, we just missed that fleet. Maybe if we're fast enough, we can catch them in Viacarus. Let's try that. Come on. Yes, that should work. All right, so uh, we also have now the better module for manpower. That's great. We also have better weapon modules. Also pretty awesome. Okay, so hostile threats detected. I I read carrot for some reason. Never learned. System. For some reason now you're loyal. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I forgot this, this was even a thing. Okay, apparently they went to Artemis. So, uh, this one you can just go and explore. And here we have something to just combine, I guess, for now. And also some vessels here that need to be taken care of. They do have some hawks over there that we need to be wary about. I should probably also look into better battle cards, since we're now full long range oriented. Is there something like that? That is just long range. We don't have anything like that. Maybe I should research something that gives me a tactics like that. Uh, not here. Not there. This one. Prudent positions. <clears throat> Reduces damage across flotillas to minimize ship loss. Is actually a pretty good one. Potentially. Maybe. I don't know. I've, I think I've never used that before. And we also definitely need the anti-cloaking here. So yeah, we'll we'll get that. We will need to put that one in, right? I think so. And I do want to get a juggernaut. I, I want to commit to that idea. So, oh, they start invading. Was to be expected. We have a hero level up here. That's, I think, our... Yes, the militarist um, senator. Let's also go for luxuries. <clears throat> You're sneaky, that's nothing new. So we have still 140. Uh, no, no, not tactical surrender. So we're gonna get 11 tanks. That's gonna be 20 tanks, basically the same number as them. Uh, but yeah, we do have a whole lot more defensive capability. See, they only have 600 offensive attack um, thing. So yeah, draft should really help us a lot. We're gonna draft until we're about even and then just like, I don't know what the other one is, to protect. They're even blitzing me. That's uncool. That could kill people. It did not now, but it might in the future. So any militaristic thing that is destroyed, I will just rebuild instantly. Actually, I can also take this system when we're already here. Come on. There we go. Uh, we actually don't even have more manpower. Wow, they have a lot of defensive stuff around. Um, I guess then we just go back to Eridanus. Also, you just go and explore. I don't care. It's silly that you just sit around there in the in the hangar. When there's still so much space to explore. Can they take the Vodiani? I think they can. I might need some more Vaders. And actually, I should definitely upgrade the Vaders before I do so. Bam. That's much better. 
let's uh yeah send you there upgrade you <clears throat> and then we can actually even go down there and upgrade you there so yeah we are here we have some more no that's actually gone the he sh he short coming in again L look at that 32 fleets ships i mean or command points you are sick guys you're sick why do you hate me so much? You know what? Actually, <laughs> guys, do you want the truth? Can do for you. Uh, it doesn't look like it. They probably think that they can win this, huh? Which is... I think they're probably right. With so many fleets, so many ships, so much mind power, I don't think I have the capabilities to hold it, but I will keep it back. That said, I kind of wanted to splice those pops eventually right or are those remnants no this is the cultic ma although it's just just happiness <clears throat> we don't really need happiness so i think it's fine okay i think we're gonna leave this here uh we are in a worse situation than i expected to be at this stage <clears throat> we had to focus mostly on militaristic stuff with having to leave our economy behind a little bit um but at least we have now ships that are somewhat capable of dealing with that actually yeah 20,000 against their strongest fleet which is 11,000 yeah we can we can potentially deal with that <clears throat> it's just gonna cost us so many ships but yeah come back next time to see how we are going to resolve this crisis and thank you very much for watching goodbye